Oh hey guys, today we're gonna make a Pop-Tart pizza, making the convenient toaster pastry wildly inconvenient. We're gonna start off with some pie crust for the dough, cause I don't know any better, and then fill it with uh, strawberry jam, I guess. As you all know, strawberry is the goat of Pop-Tart flavors. That's what I said. None of you cinnamon sociopaths come after me. You know it to be true. You know you're psychotic. Hey, listen, I was there once. I thought cinnamon was the best too. Then I got help. Okay, uh, we're gonna top this thing with another pie crust and crimp the edges with a fork. Looks like a washed up jellyfish. Uh, then we're gonna uh, slather the top with some butter and then throw it in the oven. You know, other credible cooking channels actually test their recipes before taking the time to film and edit it. I do not possess that type of foresight for cooking or for anything in life, really. Okay, <laughs> it's like a pie that got ran over. All right, we're gonna throw on some uh, frosting. Then lastly, we're just gonna toss on some sprinkles. Okay, here it is. Let's give it a try. <laughs> oh, wow, <laughs> this one's not bad. I guess you can't go wrong when you're cooking pie crust and throwing frosting on it. But I do have one criticism. With the flaky crust, it's closer to that of a uh, toaster strudel. Pop-Tart's perverted cousin. For that, I gotta give it a 7 out of 10.